Hey there, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And finally, spring has sprung here on the homestead, uh, getting some nice, beautiful warm days, low 60s today, beautiful breeze and uh, just very very happy to finally have some warm weather to be able to get outside and uh, get some projects done now it's been a few uh, weeks since uh, I posted a video and well part of that is because uh, things didn't go according to plan and so today I wanted to bring you up to speed with uh, some of the things that we've had going on around here and to explain to you why um, I haven't posted a video uh, in the last well, I guess it's been a little over a week. Behind me you can see this uh, chicken tractor um, that we finally got completed. We have our meat birds out here. They're scratching around um, and, and enjoying a beautiful day. But um, I've been working on this chicken tractor now. Oh, it took me a little over a week to complete it. And this, as you may recall, uh, was not my first design or my what I really wanted to put here and I will link to that video right here uh, of kind of well how I had to switch gears um, and so this was kind of plan B this is based on a design by Doug and Stacy over at Off Grid with Doug and Stacy I'll link to that video right here uh, and so my plan was as I built this to kind of put together a step-by-step -step instructional on how I built it and to kind of change a few things, um, some ways that I thought maybe I could improve upon Doug's design. And quite frankly, that didn't happen. And so I think part of being a YouTuber, uh, you need to know when not to post a video and when not to post uh, content, especially if you're really not improving upon um, the original design and so things didn't go according to plan some of the things that I tried just didn't work uh, and so I just opted not to post those videos I'll just explain to you a little bit about some of the things that I tried but I didn't want to bore you with all of uh, you know all of those nitty-gritty details so um, a couple of things that I did here uh, differently than Doug is I used uh, two by fours in my construction instead of two by sixes um, I think that was a better uh, a better design for me just because it'll be easier it'll be lighter for me to move this around than um, the two by sixes that he used um, behind me down over the hill there you may be able to see let's see if I can get it in the shot here uh, down that way <laughs> you can see one of my hoop coops um, I've built two full-size hoop coops one of them is my rabbitry now and that one there is for my pigs and so I tried to use a couple of techniques that I learned when building those uh, to apply that to building these and namely that was by uh, trying instead of building the base as Doug did and then putting the cattle panels in and hooping it over uh, I thought well I'll put the boards on the bottom and then hoop it and I just didn't I underestimated the amount of tension um, that uh, was involved and so one of the things that you'll see here on my corners is that um, things aren't very square um, and so again it just didn't work out very well and so if I were to build another one of these um, I would do it as Doug did by building the base and then putting the cattle panels in afterwards um, I did use a hardware cloth in here instead of chicken wire um, and uh, at the back I did the same and uh, that's just because I wanted a little bit more uh, I want a little bit more predator protection you can see I'm a little bit out here in the woods and uh, so that's what I did the other thing that I did as well is uh, I did put a hot wire around it uh, around the, the base of it just uh, to try to keep any predators uh, from trying to dig underneath so that's uh, our um, broiler pen and uh, so happy to finally get these little guys out of our basement and uh, they're out here scratching around very happy to see that and uh, so happy uh, to have them out of well these guys can generate a lot of poop 
You can also see that we've got up our uh, portable poultry netting here. Um, so this is from Premier One. Got the uh, solar energizer there. It was a little bit challenging, as I knew it would be, to get the, the fence set up. I didn't totally get it set up as, as I wanted to, just because of the, uh, the stony soil, but um, overall very happy with uh, this particular uh, setup, and I think it will work well for us. And uh, it's definitely great to see these broilers out um, acting as chickens should act, and uh, getting, you know, some movement, so. So a few other things that we have going on um, up here at the uh, raised bed area. Gone ahead and uh, got two of my beds filled and uh, started working on the third one. And then we also have uh, redone um, our old re our old beds and uh, moved them a little closer. So this area here just used to be wasted space, and uh, so we we're going to fill this in and plant. These are actually um, two by six, uh, well, it's a little less than that, decking, cedar decking. Um, and uh, you can see that it's really started to deteriorate over there. So I'm gonna eventually have to replace this. It's actually in a lot worse shape than I thought it would be. But uh, I'm gonna go with it at least and try to get another season or two out of it. This here is, um, this is uh, just regular pine. Um, two by ten. Uh, my dad's actually had really good success with it and uh, I think it's lasted almost as long as my cedar decking has. A lot cheaper. So that's what I went with here. So we've got two new raised beds plus uh, this third one here that we will hopefully get filled tonight. So really really happy with how this is all shaping up here and um, very excited to hopefully get some stuff in the ground or at least planted uh, to, uh, this week. Behind me here, you can see some straw. So we're gonna also try some straw bale gardening. And uh, so very excited about that. Was actually able to pick this up really cheaply from the guy that uh, I buy my feed from because it had gotten wet and uh, he was just gonna throw it out. And uh, I said, hold on, I'll, I'll buy that off of you. Um, so he gave me a really good deal on it. So very excited about that. Another thing that uh, I've started doing, you can't see much of it because it's covered by this um, fresh shavings that I pulled out of the broiler, um, the broiler coop, but uh, I've started bringing home the coffee grounds from work and uh, using that in the compost pile. So very excited about creating some new compost here. So here with the laying flock in the uh, chicken run, and one of the things that I was able to uh, secure this weekend from my aunt was all of her um, yard waste. So they had it all bagged up. They were going to send it out with the, uh, uh, with, the, with the town there where they live. And I said, oh no, that, that's good stuff. So we threw it in the truck, brought it home, and uh, threw it in the chicken run here. And they're working it over and uh, just absolutely loving it. And uh, so um, it's, it's uh, an idea that I got from watching the Great American Farm Tour. Um, it was uh, something that Justin Rhodes had uh, suggested and so uh, I'm implementing it here. I think it's a great idea to get a little bit more carbon. Boy, these guys are noisy, but they're loving it. So uh, very, very happy here. And um, so have them uh, just kind of work it over, break it down and turn it into some very nice, rich compost that we'll be able to harvest and then use on the garden. So something that would have gone to waste, not to say it would have gone to waste because the town where my aunt um, lives, they compost all of that, but that it was just a free source of carbon for me and uh, so my ladies are absolutely loving it. So a bit of an update here with the pigs. So both of these ladies here, um, are expected to farrow here in the next couple of weeks, so I need to uh, get myself in gear and get a get some farrowing huts um, put together. Uh, the boar, bear, is way down there in the woods, which is good. I'm glad to see that. 
So last week we had a bit of an issue, and that is that Bear broke through the fence. I didn't have the electric fence back on yet. He broke through the fence and got in with the uh, gilts, his daughters. Uh, and um, so in three months, three weeks, and three days, we'll find out how many of them he bred. So I may have a few extra bacon bits. Uh, so if you're interested in some fresh bacon, uh, let me know. I may have some um, pigs and uh, that I had not planned. Definitely I'm going to have some uh, from those two sows, but um, well, a few of these ladies over here may be in the family way as I used to say. <laughs> yeah, girls, what's up? Out here getting some sun? What's up? Oh. So, an update on our rabbit situation. So, uh, Chelsea here um, kindled a couple of days ago, and uh, I don't know if we've given this one here a name. Um, she kindled the day after. Um, unfortunately, both of them, uh, their litters, I don't know what happened, um, but neither one of them, uh, their litters survived. So, um, I'm going to breed them again and uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know if it got too cold. They both seem to have um, really nice nest built, lots and lots of fur, as you can see, some of it's still on the ground there. But uh, unfortunately, uh, baby bunnies uh, didn't survive, and uh, so we will have them both bred again, and we'll kind of see what happens. But uh, it's a bit of a bummer. Um, unfortunately, we've lost both of Chelsea's litter so far this year. And uh, then this gray rabbit, I don't know if she's got a name or not. Brian J, he handles the naming duties around here. So um, I can't remember what hers is. That the the buck, he's got one um, one color or one white paw, and so he's either socks or mittens. I don't remember. And then uh, the other one is uh, my dad's buck now. So um, he's up at my mom and dad's house. So I'll give you an update here on the chicks in the brooder. As you can see, they've gotten very big. Um, they need to come out, and uh, so hopefully we'll get them out this week into uh, into the coop. I'm going to section off part of the coop, and uh, so hopefully we will get them over there. But uh, they're really too big for this, and um, creating a lot of dust over everything. So last but not least is an update on our um, transplant system here on our grow lights. So uh, you can see the brassicas um, seem to be doing fairly well. Uh, at least I think they are. <laughs> My tomato plants um, seem to be a little yellow and drying up. I'm not sure what's going on there with them. So if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, and I'm not sure if this white stuff is a mold or a fungus or if that is just from... I have very hard water. So I'm not sure if that's maybe just um, some... Uh, calcium so I don't know um, the pepper seem to be doing okay some of the other uh, tomatoes again just this little yellowing of the the leaves has got me a little flummox I'm not quite sure what's going on there um, and then down here these uh, peppers seem to be doing uh, well and I'm so happy with uh, kind of where we're at with them so that's this month's farm update and uh, like I said, uh, my apologies that it's taken so long to get another video up, but uh, sometimes you just have to know what not to post, I think. Um, and in this situation, well, things hadn't gone according to plan and I wasn't about to uh, just put up uh, some nonsense for, for you to watch. So hopefully you found this informative 
And uh, if you have, or if you've got any questions, let me know. But uh, just excited about uh, trying some new things this year. Really trying to focus on getting some good compost going. Um, you know, the grow lights is new for us. The meat chickens are new for us. Uh, the, the raised beds aren't new to us in that we've uh, done raised beds for a number of years. These are just a little deeper. But trying some straw bale gardening. Um, so excited about all of that. And then... Uh, to have some pigs on the way, that's also very exciting. So, unfortunately, the rabbits haven't worked out very well for us uh, this year. And the last couple of years, we've lost more litters than I remember losing. So, um, I, I just don't know what's going on there. Um, that's a bit frustrating. But, you know, that's life on the homestead. Uh, some things work, some things don't. But, uh, overall, I'm very happy with where we're at. And the fact that we have some warm weather... Um, is very exciting as well. So until next time, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, I will do my best to get some more content uh, going. And really, I'm going to try to get on a little bit more of a regular uh, cycle now. My goal up to this point was to just really provide some good content. And uh, now that I have kind of built a library at least of content, hopefully it's good content, uh, now I'm going to really try to focus on starting to do this on a little bit more of a schedule. So, again, thanks so much for tuning in, and we will catch you later. Goodbye, everybody.